was finally something to celebrate for troubled car maker Jaguar Land Rover as it unveiled its new training academy in Gaydon near Warwick. The facility will train the next generation of mechanics and engineers to service customers' vehicles. In these days of very sophisticated vehicles and products, particularly where our brands operate, we have to offer the very best in terms of technical training and technical support. And it's in this building where all of our uh, training programs are developed. Uh, we have visitors from all around the world who take those programs and take them back. And as David said, we also use this building to train our UK technicians. Despite the firm's problems, JLR Chief Executive David Smith was upbeat about the Academy's future. Well, actually, this is a fantastic facility. Not only is it really good in terms of delivering the technical training that we need, uh, clean, modern facilities, but also we've uh, taken an old building and refurbished it uh, with a lot of new environmental technologies that actually reduces its carbon footprint by about 200 tonnes a year, or about 60% versus what it would have been before. Well, actually, I'm, I'm really humbled by the support that we've had from the Birmingham Post, the Mail, the Coventry Telegraph, um, and the Liverpool papers as well, fantastic response, uh, both from those newspapers and their readers as well. So I absolutely agree. It's very important that we support our automotive industry, and Jaguar Land Rover is a key part of that. We're the biggest uh, exporter of uh, cars from the UK by far. We uh, represent nearly half of the research and development that's done in the automotive world in the UK. Uh, we spend £2.5 billion pounds a year with our suppliers, so we're, we're absolutely critical. And our 15,000 employees in the UK really appreciate that support.